Hi, Glenn the Geek here, and this is a special, tiny little, short episode for you, and I'm putting this out on all the Horse Radio Network shows, on all the different feeds, because there's a very special day coming up, and it's called International Podcast Day. And that's on Saturday, that is September the 30th, in a couple of days. And we need your help, and here to help me out today, asking for your help, is the newest member of the HRN family, and that is Jemmy. Hi, Jemmy. Hi, Glenn. Good. Jemmy's a podcaster, if you haven't met her before, and she is also now helping us out with production, specifically Jennifer. And you're, you're doing a great job. Oh, well, thank you. I had a great boss. Bosses. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to talk a little bit about International Podcast Day and how you can help us. This day was designed years ago as a way to get the word out about podcasting. And it was designed, Jemmy, even before podcasting became popular, thanks to NPR, right? Right. So NPR kind of helped really, really blast us out into the map. It was one of those extra hockey stick moments, I think, is what Walsh has called them. So yeah, it's become really, really popular lately. And But International Podcast Day has definitely been a helpful piece of that whole puzzle. And what it's designed for is it's a day for you as the listener to go out and tell all of your friends about podcasting. One of the biggest problems we still have in podcasting is that people don't know how to listen. People mm-hmm. either don't know what they are or don't know how to listen. So they just don't do anything. And it's through word of mouth, it's through your word of mouth that people that your friends are going to learn how to listen to podcasts and what podcast you really like. So what we'd like you to do is on Saturday Go to your social media, your Facebook, your Instagrams, your Twitter, and tell the world about the podcast that you listen to. And then maybe give them an idea of how they can listen. So, uh, Jemmy, what would be the best way for them to do that? Oh, my gosh. So one quick and easy way to tell people how to listen is say, hey, if you have an iPhone, guess what? You already have an app built in. It's this purple little icon. And if you've never pressed on it, press on it (laughs) and then search for literally anything that you would be interested in listening in into and then find your favorite show. Another thing to do is um, if you have some favorite shows that you already love, go ahead and find a specific episode. Get the link for that episode and put that link out there for people and get get episodes out there that you love, shows out there that you love and share them, share them, share them, share them, share them. (laughs) Well, and that's how most people learn about new podcasts they want to listen to anyway is from friends or they're listening to a podcast that mentions another show. And that's how that's how we all learn about the podcast that we eventually love and will will listen to religiously. And if you if you like one of the Horse Radio Network shows, if you're listening to this particular show that that that, that this little tiny episode is on, then promote this show promote the Horse Radio Network in general, you can you can take somebody's phone when you're at the barn, and you can download the Horse Radio Network app through the App Store, iOS or Android. And that makes it very simple for them to listen to any of the 15 shows that we have or recommend another show that you listen to that's not Horse Radio Network. And one of those shows could be one of Jemmy's. What shows do you have? I have a couple of shows. My flagship show is called Curve the Cube. It's about inspiring you to get off your butt and do what you were put on this planet to do. And Eggheads After Hours is all about how small businesses can use tech to help propel themselves forward in their markets. But I want to mention one other thing because you might think, oh, it's another thing for me to do on Saturday. It's another thing for me to do is to put out an episode. Guys, there's a very selfish reason why you should also do it, okay? You should selfishly decide to promote all the podcasts that you love because the more people that are listening to those podcasts, the more likely those podcasts will be able to continue bringing you great content. So promote, promote, promote. Well, J- Jemmy, the other thing that I wanted to mention is that on International Podcast Day on Saturday, there the International Podcast Day organization runs a, how long is it, 40-hour 30 hour international live broadcast. And this is, nuts. <laughs> yeah, this is international. It goes across the world, starts Friday night and then goes all the way through Saturday night. Every hour is filled with people doing sh- different shows and every hour is a different host. And you, of all the podcasters in the world, Yay. and there are tens and tens of thousands of them, you were asked to host <laughs> one of the hours. I know. I still can't believe it. I'm still waiting to get the 
call back from Dave Lee, the co-founder of it, who says, yeah, that was just a joke. <laughs> we don't really want <laughs> we you don't to really do want that. You. No, we were kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally kidding. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. <laughs> but yeah, I'm super excited because you're right there. I mean, and the podcasters that are involved are from all over the world. So I'm, I'm super flattered, but I'm going to get to talk about the growing podcast scene in Florida. I'm a huge champion of all my fellow partic- particularly independent podcasters in Florida, and that includes you, Glenn. And so I'm really excited to help bring in the even bigger spotlight on that day. So my hour is at 10 Eastern, um, 10 a.m. Eastern time, and people can log in either on Facebook Live or there'll also be a way to listen or to watch, actually, because it's a video broadcast. Yeah, it's internationalpodcastday.com slash live. Yep. Yeah, and you can actually chat with the hosts as it's going on. It's really cool. Well, one other thing I wanted to mention before we wrap this is that is on Saturday. We will be posting to our social media pages on all the different shows on Saturday morning. We'll be putting logos out there for you to use, uh, kind of sample scripts that you can use to help promote our shows. We'd really appreciate the support. That's what helps us grow, as Jemmy said. One other thing I wanted to mention is that there's still time to get in on the Horse Radio Network cruise. And uh, we're also working on getting Jemmy on that, too. Uh, <laughs> get, uh, I've, never, I've never been on a horse, really, until I met glenn and i've never been on a cruise so there you go (laughs) two firsts coming up so we are we still have spots available we have over 50 people now that have signed up to come on the horse radio network cruise go to horseloverscruise.com for all the details it's gonna be a lot of fun it's in february if you want to take a vacation and hang out with horse people just doing some fun stuff on a boat uh, and some of the terrific stops we have in nassau and uh, royal caribbean private island and also key west which is open for cruising again uh we we a uh, matter of fact, uh, we just volunteered Jemmy, and she doesn't know it. She's going to yeah. do the pub crawl at, on Key West, and so it's going to be ten Arm drinks, twisted. ten <laughs> drinks, and ten different bars in six hours. So uh, oh, then we're going to carry gosh. her back to the boat. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, That's it. I am officially this weekend going to start practicing. You're going to practice. You're going to have to pay me for my time. Okay. (laughs) Well, thank you, everybody. Please get out and promote all the podcasts that you love on International Podcast Day this Saturday, September the 30th. International Podcast Day is September 30th, and you can help spread the word. You may be asking, what can I do to get involved? It's pretty simple. Head over to internationalpodcastday.com and check the suggestions. Then use hashtag International Podcast Day to join the conversation. You can reach out and connect with other podcasters, listeners, and your favorite podcast hosts. Remember September 30th, International Podcast Day, a day-long celebration of the power of podcasts.